today we're gonna be adventurous we're trying new lighting and I have a microphone so hopefully you'll actually be able to hear me better without having to turn me to 100% on your computer hello welcome today we are gonna be doing another costume video Hopefully no one is surprised. Today I'm going to be doing another submission for my October 2021 costume challenge. And the um, submission that I have today was actually a last minute add-on. <laughs> it was something that I, I haven't thought about in quite some time. I don't even know why it came up. But I just thought of it and then I googled a couple of pictures and was like, oh yeah, I remember I loved this outfit. And then after I had bought the fabric and everything, I watched the movie again and the outfit that I will be talking about is Snow White. Uh, but probably not the one that you're thinking of. The Snow White that I will be doing is from the 2012? Is from the movie Mirror Mirror with Lily Collins and Julia Roberts and unfortunately Army Hammer. This is about Snow White, in particular this outfit. I love this outfit. Um, I do not see how it is practical at all for the uh, environment or the work that she's doing. She is working. I'm just, it seems weird to call thievery work. Wearing a peasant top, which is really the, the best way I can describe it. However, it is off the shoulder, off of both shoulders. And there's this corset type thing with straps that go over and it kind of gives this faux cold shoulder look. Having this outfit that does this kind of faux cold shoulder thing is not my favorite, but everything else kind of makes up for it in my opinion. Um, I am only going to be focusing on the top. I do have a pair of trousers already that will work. We'll be focusing on the peasant top. I ended up buying fabric separately for these. Um, I, I had a bit of a crisis with one of my outfits and I needed to buy um, different fabric. So at the same time that I bought fabric for that, I ended up buying some duck canvas for the uh, faux corset. So I will be working on that when that gets here. I do have the material for the blouse. I do believe that this color that I have is slightly off. I think it is a bit light, but I really do chalk that up to the fact that the, the entire movie is very saturated. And I feel like it's, um, more saturated than normal because it needs to have that kind of um, fairy tale cartoon type of feel. This is the material I will be using. It is a lovely blue color. It is blue. It is bright blue. And I'm sure those of you who actually watched the video I did on the French students from Harry Potter, that, that traveling uniform, I'm sure all of you are thinking, but in that video, you said that you don't like wearing those bright of colors. I did say that, and good for you for paying attention. However, that was a full outfit. That is, that is a lot to have for a dress and a capelet, and a hat, and like 12 collars, and even the shoes, and the tights. That's, that's a lot of powder blue. That is. And 
that is something that I would not feel comfortable wearing, or I wouldn't feel comfortable for wearing for very long. This, however, this is just a shirt. This is a shirt that I can wear with things. And in fact, I will be wearing with a pair of black trousers. So the majority of the outfit that I will be wearing will be black. I will just have this pop of color, which is also something that I like to do. So I do have a pattern for the corset. It is for mood, but I don't have a pattern for the peasant top. So I'll be winging that so you can kind of join me on this journey. So I am going to go ahead and iron these real quick, and then I'll get to sewing them. Right now, this area with a bit of a dip, this is where the arm will go. So technically, this is like just under the armpit right here, and this is going to be the top area where the uh, elastic is going to go. So. So my duck canvas just got here and I will be putting it into the wash so I can start construction on the uh, corset for my Snow White costume. Everything's coming together. This is going to be good. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it is complete. Um, I went ahead and put in the elastic. I feel like the elastic that I put in is probably too wide, so I hope that doesn't cause problems later. So, um, the next thing that I did after I actually got the uh, elastic into place was I added this random little bit and initially I thought it was kind of dumb but then I thought about it for a minute and it actually kind of holds the whole thing together because if you don't have this but you still have the elastic all the way around if there's a cut here this is just going to go wide and it's just going to do that and we don't want that so yeah now I'm just going to go ahead and try it on and hope everything fits all right. Okay, so here we have it. Kind of looks like a pillow case <laughs> or sheet or something. Um, I, I don't like how it looks when it is up. 
you could turn the pencil way up on your shoulders, but um, it's kind of fiddly and I'm not sure how much I enjoy this. Also, I will not be doing the elastic around the edges, so at least not yet. I'm going to consider this done for right now because it's basically done. Now the next part is the corset. The next step in the Snow White costume that I have is, of course, the corset. How do I describe it? It's not a full, like, over boob corset, but it's also not quite an under bust corset. It's, it's very weird. It's like it sits, it's at a weird angle. I don't know if that's like intentional or if it's just the way it's cut. Looking on her, it looks good, but when you actually analyze it and try to figure out where things lay, uh, I, I can't, I can't figure it out. Do a straight up under bust corset. It's just a pattern that I found from Mood Fabrics. Those patterns that they have on the website, most if not all of them are free and um, they're great. So I'll go ahead and show you just a couple parts of this, but then uh, I'm going to show you more when it comes to the embroidery part because that's the part that I'm, I've been having the most trouble with. <laughs> All right, I have all four of the panels um, finished. All of the lovely gold bits have been glued on. I'm gonna have one like this and one like this. Basically, this is how it looks. Um, and this is going to come out from the side. So this seam is going to go where the side seam of the um, corset goes. Um, I'm not going to fully sew this. I'm probably just going to baste this to the corset itself because I do hope to one day have both the time, the energy, the patience, <laughs> and the skill to be able to actually do this um, filigree in embroidery. But um, unfortunately, at this time, I have none of those. So we are doing the, um, the cheat way. <laughs> and I came across a problem. These panels are a little bit too big. Um, I guess I didn't do very, uh, I didn't do a very good job scaling, so um, <laughs> we have a little bit of an issue. Instead of um, placing this end along the side seam, or what would be the side seam? I think right here. Um, because if I did that, it would give me like a bunch of extra space right here, which is fine. But if I do that, then the other section um, doesn't have enough space. This right here is center back. So keep that in mind. <laughs> and this is the other piece. 
if I were to keep it where it is right now, this guy would overlap by about inch and a half, two inches, which is not cool. So what I decided to do, or what I would, uh, what I would try out and see if it worked, is I moved this guy over a bit, just so it's not in the way of where the um, eyelets are going to be. But I moved it over so that I would have more room to put my other um, panel. Um, and I did that here. So where all of these pins are or where my eyelets are going to be. And this is tentatively where my... Um, panels are going to sit. The only problem with this is, first of all, I haven't tried it on yet. Second of all, I can't really try it on until I have the eyelets in place. But um, the most important problem is that I'm pinning this flat on here. But as you can see, this isn't laying flat. Even when I have just the um, corset part by itself. It's not laying flat because that's not how it was made. Almost every seam was cut and sewn on a curve. So it's unsurprising that you get bits like this even without boning in it. Um, so pinning it flat is going to not only be difficult, but also probably pretty inaccurate so I think what I have to do next is I have to do the eyelets before I can continue and then once I have the eyelets done I can go ahead and um, try it on and maybe I'll have to pin on the panels while it's on my body which should be interesting I am breaking a few cardinal rules um, First of all, I'm not wearing anything under the corset. Um, I'm doing this because I will be pinning things in place on the corset and I don't want to accidentally pin the thing onto the corset and then also like pin through my shirt. Also, I know I am very pale. You don't have to tell me that. I am exceedingly pale. I get it. It just so happens that this specific costume, Snow White, happens to be one of the few times that it's paying off. So, <laughs> in a costume sense. I really enjoy how they kept the blue and gold yellow colors for her outfit. I am a bit disappointed that they didn't keep any red. They could have done that very easily with like a red hair tie or ribbon like I'm wearing or like a red lipstick or something like in the original fairy tale. I mean, it was no lipstick in the fairy tale, but her lips are supposed to be like blood red or something like that. I do like that the outfit that they finally landed on didn't have a skirt or dress part of it, that it was actually trousers so that it was a little bit more practical. I do like the fact that they gave her a weapon instead of just being like, no, she's a girl, she doesn't need weapons. I absolutely hate almost 
the entirety of her fight with the prince because that's very demeaning. I know the first time I watched it, I was very um, interested and very invested and like, ooh, what's gonna happen? But after I rewatched it, I was very uncomfortable. The entire fight was very uncomfortable because he seemed to think he was superior even though I knew she was gonna win. It was very... I wish I had a better word, but it was very uncomfortable. is the conclusion part and I don't hate it. Um, I think so far this has been the most spot-on outfit. The, one of the things is you probably notice, or I don't even know if I'm going to add that in, but um, these, the um, eyelets or grommets or whatever you want to call them, uh, they're having a hard time staying on, which is very weird. Um, it's almost as though the material is too thick. Um, and to be fair, on this part, I have two layers of material and then also a layer of interfacing. Scratch that. Four layers of fabric on each side and one layer of interfacing. But typically that's not that big of a deal. But um, yeah, they are uh, coming off. And even as I was putting this on, I think I lost the back side of two of them. Um, not these two, surprisingly, two different ones. <laughs> so there's that. Um, also, of course, the um, embroidery isn't as awesome as it should be. I am really surprised how well it turned out for what it is. I did not add any boning in the corset, in the uh, underbust corset. And I really should. I was figuring that this one isn't really complete anyway. Like the um, embroidery isn't done. So I figured that it would be fine for a photo shoot. But now I am um, reconsidering that. Um, the next thing is that I added the straps on there because she has straps on hers. Um, but even after measuring a couple of times and sewing it into place and then readjusting, the straps are still way too big. And I don't really know how slash why that is. I don't like the top. I really don't. It doesn't stay where it's supposed to. That kind of makes me wonder how, um, how it's done properly because this one was kind of just mishmash together and like I said it's good enough for a photo shoot but um very confused how it stays like how did it stay on her when she was doing all those action scenes I originally was not going to do the straps on the corset because I thought the suspender straps would be enough but then I realized that part of this was poking out of the bottom and the straps to be on top of the shirt, the shirt would need to be tucked in. So I made the straps. According to the calendar, I only have one more week of this. And I already had the last one planned out. Like I had planned which one I was going to do last. And I still want to do that. Um, <laughs> but I have like one and a half other costumes done. So there's a really good chance that I'm going to continue this into November just to prolong Halloween as much as I can. If people are allowed to do it with Christmas, I'm allowed to do it with Halloween. So, <laughs> um, I guess look forward to that. Um, but yeah, uh, in the meantime, hope you have a great day.